our guest will come back. So let's use this um, this law to fake. Uh, or for for now, we can basically calculate uh, the, the direction of this ray, this orange ray. Uh, to do that, uh, we need to get the direction of the camera. So we need to create this node called uh, camera vector workspace. Uh, if you're holding down control out here and to take a look, uh, in other words, uh, this direction is basically representing the direction from the pixel to the camera. Okay, you can right click and start previewing this node. You can see those are black. Uh, that means they're not, they're basically negative directions actually. You can see now to have a ray going from that corner to the camera, which is in the center more or less, right? Uh, you have to go through the negative direction of all three axes. That's why this is black. And you can see this one is more like uh, blue because it has to go up here and it doesn't need to go uh, pos positive on Y because it has to go this way, right? The camera is, again, where you are, right? It's going to have to go back this way to go to the camera. And that's why it doesn't have any uh, green, while the other side has more green. You can see that this is more green, right? Because these, these guys has to go positive on the Y direction to, to reach the camera. And this top corner, it has to go, again, go downwards, so Z will be negative. That's why you don't see any blue, but you see more green because it has to go this way from, you know, from the uh, go positive directions, right? Uh, uh, on the Y side, on the Y direction. Uh, you can also take a look at on the on the box and you can, you can kind of like see what's going on here from this particular angle. You can see those are, uh, this, this, this corner is positive on the red, which is X direction because it has to go this way, right? To reach to, to the camera. So basically, again, it's going to be the, the direction from the pixel to the camera. And that's basically this, this red array I drew out here, right? So we have that data now. Um, and that's going to be also here. That's the V incidence, right? The incoming ray. Um, so I'm going to name this guy. Uh, v is, or not naming it, but commenting it. Okay. Oh, actually, that's not the V, in, that's that's the, 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 the offset direction of that. So I have to actually uh, do a multiply. So holding down M and click, we're going to multiply that by uh, negative one here. Okay. Right. So that's not it. This is actually what that is. Okay. So that's the V incidence. That's one of the things we need to use, right? It's going to be multiplied with R. Now R is actually the N1, N1 divided by N2. Uh, the N is actually the index of refraction, uh, as you can see here. Okay. So what, I, what we have to do is we have to calculate that ourselves. A divide would be just fun. Okay. And we're dividing N1 uh, divided by N2, right? N1 is the, the refraction index of the air, and that's such a uh, small value here. It's going to be 1.0001, I believe. And for index of, of refraction for the eyeball, it's going to be 1.33. Okay, so we're going to divide those two, and this is going to be actually R. We can say R equals N1 divided by N2. Uh, we can also here, we, can, we could be more arbitrary here. We can say holding down S and click to create a scalar parameter. I can call this guy IOR and that goes to the B and we give the default value as uh, 1.33 and slider max can be whatever, maybe four. <laughs> anyway, so this is gonna be the R here, right? And then we also wanted to know what C is. C is negative N and dot product, the V uh, incidence. So we have the V incidence and we just need to dot it uh, with negative N. And here N is gonna be the normalized normal vector, which is the normal direction of the pixel. Okay, so what we do is tap pixel normal workspace. Again, if you take a look at what it is uh, by previewing it, you can see this is what it is, you can see from this particular angle, uh, 
the normal direction of this face will be facing towards the y direction. That's going to be why it's green and that's blue because it's facing up only. And that's red. If you look at it from the circular shape, you can see for that particular point, it's going through X, Y, Z all together. That's why it's more white. And the more you go towards uh, uh, the, the right side, you see more red color, right? Cool. So this is going to be in word space where is the normal direction for any given pixel here. Uh, so that's going to be basically uh, the end. So we have to also uh, do multiply that by negative one uh, to get the negative direction uh, of the end. So negative one. We dot those two together. And also we can just comment this guy. Comment this guy, this is going to be negative end, right? And then C is equals to the dot product of negative N and V incidence, right? This one. So this is going to be the C value here in the formula. C equals to negative N dot V underscore instance. Okay. All right. So we have all those variables now, and we can start to calculate this. So it's going to be r times v incidence. So this is r. So we do a multiply. So this is v incidence, right? That's r. We're going to do this part. That's easy. And then the result will be used to add. So holding down A and click to add. We're going to add this guy. And this is going to be c times v underscore incidence. OK, we're going to add it. Uh, with that, okay. So that's gonna be. We have to calculate from uh, you know we we calculate uh, by the order. So we go from this one first. So one minus c squared, okay. So this is c, right? So we just need to mul multiply it by itself to square it, or we can do square, whatever you feel more familiar with. <laughs> uh, we can also do this uh, uh, this thing called power. We can we can power it by two also. Okay, that's gonna be C squared, right? So we can say C times C, okay? That's C squared, that's this part. And we can hold it down O and click to create a one minus and a one minus node. Uh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be then one minus C squared, right? And it's gonna be this part, right? One minus C squared. Not c times two, actually c times c. Okay, so one minus that minus that we time that by two. Oh, actually that that's not timing by two. That's r squared. So r is gonna be. Let's see where is r. This is r, right? So we do a power here and connect that to the base. We're gonna power it. Okay, and so this guy is gonna be. R squared, and R squared will be timing the one minus C squared. C squared. So we got this uh, this multiplication here. Okay. So this is gonna be R times R, and then times one minus C times C, and this is gonna be this part, and we just use one minus again on it. So O and click, and we got this one. Don't think we need, really need to comment every little step, but just to be clear, right? One minus r squared, and then times uh, one minus c squared. Okay, that's what that is. We got the square root of it. So square root, and then we just use r c to minus that. Uh, R is this one, and C is this one. And that's R, and that's C, so we do a multiply there. Oh, actually, that's not C. Um, C is, huh, that's, this is R, and C times V incidence. Uh, that's actually R times. That confuses me. This is actually R. 
Anyway, so we find R here. That's R and C is, where is this is C. So we do a multiplication here, and then we multiply those two together. Okay, and this, this is going to be the R C, and we do a uh, subtract to subtract this guy with the square root of that. Okay, so this is R C. That, let me just verify that. So R is here is going to be that. It says that should be fine. C equals negative one dot the V incidence. And that's C and it goes here. Okay. So that's RC subtract. That's going to be this part. It's going to be timed with N, which is going to be this guy. Okay. And this guy actually. So we do a multiplication here. And we're timing that with the subtract. Okay. And we got this entire thing. And that's going to be added to the R times V, which is uh, this guy. So the add will be uh, used here. Okay. So this, this calculation will give you the ray, the direction, the unit direction uh, of the. Uh, of the uh, because it, it's normalized so it should be the normalized version that the unit or the normalized direction of this yellow vector okay let's take a look at that stop previewing that previewing that node okay let's see it on the plane okay you can see we get some really interesting like results and you can predict or what's going on here you can see um when we look at it from this frontal kind of like uh, angle right you can see oh the, the center of this cross more or less you can see it's over here and you can take a look at the camera vector here okay uh, actually we have to uh, that's the camera vector is oh because this one is facing uh, let's this is this one is actually facing this way so it's flipped we have to do multiply that by negative one to get the flipped ray because I'm calculating this ray instead of the other direction. So times negative one is where I'm looking for. Okay, you can see they're almost the same, but you can feel like there's a slight offset. This one is centered here, right? And you can take a look at the, that's the camera. So let's take a look at this guy, start pre previewing this. You see the center is just slightly offset. We can go to this particular angle. Maybe you can feel like that much of a difference. Not that much different actually, <laughs> but that should be the calculated refracted result. Maybe we can visualize that by using snipping tool so we can see we can see the different. Um, we just maybe yeah, a new one. I'm gonna try to grab from this corner to this corner. Okay, I'm gonna copy that. I'm totally in here. And then I'm gonna go previewing this guy and using snipping tool to get it. I put it in here. Alright, let's take a look at that. So we have two layers of that. Can you see that slight different? Okay. It's not that visible, but you can feel like the, the the values are getting shifted a little bit because the two angles are supposed to be doing that, right? The two angles are supposed to be similar but slightly offset. It. Okay, so this is going to be the calculated refracted redirection. Okay, we cannot really verify that, but we can see that it, the result is quite plausible. Okay. Uh, so sometimes I feel like mathematics and physics is also like a religion because you either you believe it or not, you can never prove it's going to be right, like in all the possible scenarios. And all the physical physics laws are getting like renewed at some point and like from Newton's law of uh, gravity to Einstein's laws of gravity is going to be an improvement. So we can never really get the exact 
model that or mathematically to represent what's going on in reality but it it gives you very plausible result and that's why we're using it to to you know to do things that we want it to be feels like real okay anyway so let's move on to the next video and keep on building our structure now we have the rays we have to use it to calculate the refraction to calculate the depths, all those possible things. So that's going to be something we do next uh, and uh, keep on building our eye shader. Okay, see you next time.